Oh, great. Welcome back. Yes. Sorry this one's late. I know I did say it was happening on Sunday, but it's just been miserable. It's just been raining. It's been horrible. So I wasn't going to come out here and get under a car in the rain. So, but as you can see, still got a bit of cloud, but it's dry. So, got everything here ready. Got some oil, filter, and we got some engine flush uh, because obviously. As I showed you before, it's quite creamy. So I'll give him an engine flush. So without further ado, I'm gonna get him started, warmed up, and then we can add the engine flush and we can get on with it. Right, as I say, huh, let the clouds and the nice blue sky, the sun disappears. <sighs> oh well, it's a British summer for you, isn't it? Right. Oh. All right, come on, bite. As you can hear there, still got a bit of a squeal on that belt. Oh, still need to adjust that a little bit on. Of course he's been standing, so. Right. As they say on this, run it for about 20 minutes. So I won't bore you with the engine running for 20 minutes, so. Back in a minute. Right, I read that wrong. Actually, you Bring the engine to operating temperature and then idle 20 minutes with this in it. So I'm going to have a look now, see what the temperature is. Body the Chevette, a classic old school charm. All of the Monday running smooth and warm. Two best friends driving day and night. Lighting up the roads in your delight Oh, 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 yeah All those speeding down the road Side by side with places we'll never know Chroming oh, oh, oh. at the wheels Spinning so fast Adi and I know Bye, guys. Sorry about the loss of audio there But as you've seen, I'll put that in uh, We've been running now for 10 minutes So I'll come back to you again in another 10 minutes and we'll get on the roof and we'll drain it. Well guys, I'm not sure what you're going to see from there. But, uh, just check this is the right size. Yep. Okay, that's something like that. I hate doing these because you just know the oil will go oh, just where you want it. I don't know whether you can make the colour of that coming out of there. Not really oily. Thank you. 
Right, we shall leave that to drip for a bit. Um, I'll go get the oil filter off. So we'll go upstairs and, and do that, shall we? Well, guys, hoping you can see what I'm doing here. So next, we're going to get the the oil filter hosing off. So the new oil filter on. The new hose ring. So I've got the. <laughs> So we've got to catch oil underneath, and we've got a catch can down here. Let's uh, put this in once we get it off. I may have found why. <laughs> I mean, there is an oil seal in there. For a minute, then, I thought there's no oil seal in there. There is. Right, I'm just going to grab something else so I can get that oil seal out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a look of actually what's come out. All right, let's just get this old seal out. <sighs> There we go. One more seal. Right. Get the old clean out. Right. Happy with that. So we'll get the the new oil seal in. Let's get a bit of oil on it. Right, sitting. I may have fast forwarded that, so I'm back again. Right, new filter. Get the hose in a bit of a clean. I was going to paint this house in black. It means I've got to paint the engine as well. I might just do it all together and save messing about. Because I have a funny feeling we may have to do another oil change anyway. 
if we do find that the head gasket has gone. We're talking at some of the colours, this oil has come out. A good possibility. Right. I'm going to get that tightened up. I'm going to drag the bowl out and we're going to have a look. Right guys. Filter and housing's all back on. So, uh, moment of truth as they say. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. I think that is very milky. So, hmm, what do we all think? <laughs> I think that's pretty, yeah. I think that's a little bit more than a bit of moisture sitting in the engine. So, right. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Um, that oil definitely is um, caramelly. I could say the word is. Uh, so, I'm going to throw some new oil in anyway. I've got a little classic car meet, literally just down the road. It's just a couple of miles. So I'm going to throw, I know it's wasting some oil if the head gas is gone, but we'll chuck it in, run it, run it those couple of miles there and back, um, do the car meet, uh, the car show, and then, yeah, then we're going to definitely have to have a look at whether he's going to have to come off the road for the rest of the year and we fix the head gasket. Still got to do a flush on the the water yet and the coolant so I will do that as well um, put some fresh coolant in so everything's fresh when I drive it and then we can look at it all again uh, after I've drove it there and back and probably around town a little bit and see what happens so consoling cup of tea <laughs> That's going to be that for this one. Catch you on the next one.